Hi, this is Captain from FascinatingCaptain.com and today I'll be reviewing the Acer One Cloudbook 14 which I think will make a great affordable Linux laptop. Thanks Vinny for telling me about this laptop and many thanks to Acer for sending me this model to review. This laptop is a good balance between size and portability and at 3.5 pounds it's lightweight as well as compact. The dot texture adds style and grip and the general overall build is solid and durable. You get a setup guide, a warranty card and a small power charger included with the laptop. The Intel 1.6 GHz Celeron 2 core processor inside is powerful yet energy efficient, improving battery life. There's only 2 GB of DDR3 RAM and in this model only 32 GB of drive space, although there's a 64 GB model available as well. If anything slows this laptop down, it's the RAM, but more on that later. For those of you looking to upgrade the drive and RAM, you're out of luck, because both are non-upgradable. There's a HDMI port, USB 3 port, headphone and mic jack, as well as an SD card reader on this side, and on the other side is a single USB 2 port. You can see that the SD card doesn't slot in fully, so it's a bit of a nuisance if I leave the card in there for more storage space. Internally there's built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.0 connectivity as well as a dual digital mic and webcam for calling and chatting online. Let's open the lid and see what's inside. The keys are nicely spaced and are responsive, although the clicking sound might annoy some people. I like the good size mouse pad and the smooth surface has enough friction to make it accurate and non-slippery. The LED matte screen is acceptable. It could be brighter but at around $200 is good enough. With a non-IPS screen viewing angles are limited but looking straight on is fine. Some of you might prefer the screen to reflective screens that look more like mirrors. The resolution is 1366 by 768 Not full HD but better for those who prefer bigger text and icons. Size wise you can see it's a good medium size compared to my 17 inch HP laptop and 13 inch Chromebook and surprisingly is about the same height as my 13 inch Chromebook. The Acer Cloudbook includes Windows 10 Home 64-bit edition including a free one-year subscription to Microsoft Office 365 as well as a huge 1TB of OneDrive cloud storage. This means you get Microsoft Office to install on up to 5 PCs, tablets and phones and have 1TB to store your stuff on. Windows is a bit sluggish which is not surprising considering there's only 2GB of RAM installed and trying to use multiple applications together results in the screen freezing and locking up. Don't worry though, I've got Linux Mint waiting on the sidelines and a transformation is about to take place. In total I tried Elementary OS, Fedora 24 and Linux Mint and all distros installed and worked right out of the box. For this video I decided to go with Linux Mint because it's a popular choice for many Linux users. The first step was to press F2 after powering on and then I enabled the F12 key in the BIOS. I then used the F12 key to boot my installed USB. Although the install was straightforward, I needed to change some secure boot settings to get Linux to get past this error. I pressed F2 to get to the BIOS and first set the supervisor password and then set the UEFI trusted file. Linux Mint then started normally although I have to admit the boot time was a bit slow. The transformation was complete. Let's compare Windows versus Linux on this laptop.
When I recommend buying and installing Linux on a laptop like this one, the main concern for some of you is whether you'll be able to get your work or homework done. Well, here's three options. Use LibreOffice, which includes very similar applications to Microsoft Office, where files can be saved to compatible formats as well. Use Google Docs, which is free and something that I've been using for a couple of years now. All you need is a free Google account, which most of us will probably already have. Lastly, use Microsoft Office Online, along with the free one-year subscription you get when you buy this laptop. Although you won't get all Office features, most of them are there. This review wouldn't be complete without seeing some gameplay. For this demo, I'll show you the free-to-play game Team Fortress on Steam. There's some lag here and there, but overall this game plays pretty well. Not bad for a budget laptop. So what do I think of this laptop? I'm impressed. For $200 you get an entry level Windows 10 laptop, but after installing Linux you can transform it into a mid-range Ultrabook. I think this will suit anyone looking to buy a budget laptop without compromising on performance and quality. The build is solid, the design is subtle, the specs are enough for most everyday tasks and the battery life is good for about 8-10 to 10 hours. What more can I say? I like this laptop. If you want to buy it for work or school or even as a second laptop, check out the links on my website. Let me know if you like this video or even better subscribe to my channel. Your support will help me bring you more videos like this. There's only one thing left to say. This is Captain from FascinatingCaptain.com